Hi, my name is Anthony Sellio. I'm from Kettering, Ohio, and today I'm going to be presenting to you the evolution of compositing for special effects in filmmaking. Compositing is combining two or more images to create one single image. The first compositing technique in filmmaking history was the matte technique, and it dates all the way back to 1898 with filmmaker and magician George Meyers. The matte technique was a process that required different parts of the film to be exposed in multiple takes. Examples of the matte technique could be seen in films such as George Meyers' Four Heads Are Better Than One, Trip to the Moon in 1902, and The Great Train Robbery in 1903. Only a few years later, special effects artists began compositing using the glass shot. Artists would paint extra elements such as landscapes on glass and combine it with live action shots. This was very cost effective and made sets more elaborate. The one downfall to the in-camera matte technique in the glass shot was that the camera had to be stationary. Filmmakers began looking for a solution to this and in 1918 Frank Williams developed the traveling matte. It was known as the Williams process. Examples of the traveling mat can be seen in films such as Sunrise, the 1927, and 1933's The Invisible Man. In 1925, C. Dodge Dunning invented an alternative to the Williams process. It employed a system of blue and yellow lighting photographed onto black and white film. Loading two strips of film in the camera at the same time created the final composite image, all in camera. But it only worked with black and white film, so special effects artist Lawrence Butler developed what we know today as the blue screen process, and it worked with three strip Technicolor. The initial blue screen process had trouble with edge lines, fine detail, and motion blur. So in the mid-1950s, an innovator to motion pictures by the name of Petro Vlahos developed a sodium vapor process that created a yellow screen. This method utilized a prism that split the sodium vapor light onto a special black and white film, creating a near-perfect traveling matte. Vlahos then perfected the blue screen problems for MGM's 1959 epic, Ben-Hur. This blue screen process remained in popular use for several decades. And computers would soon forever change special effect compositing. With digital compositing, it's a specifically defined color that is replaced with a different background. This is known as chroma keying. In 1980, George Lucas's The Empire Strikes Back was the first film to utilize digital blue screening. The first 100% digital matte shot was created by Chris Evans in 1985. Young Sherlock Holmes was the first film to composite computer-generated animation with a live action background. Now in the modern digital age, mostly all compositing is done through computer software programs. Matte paintings have been replaced with digital matte paintings. Chemical processes and filters have been replaced by chroma keying. Multiple exposures have been replaced by various post-production computer wizardry. It's in my strong opinion that George Meyers is solely responsible for changing cinema forever. He's the one that shows all future filmmakers, including us today, that the creativity in our films is only limited by our imagination. Thanks for watching.